Well, welcome back, everyone. We have Allen County Dog Warden Julie Shellhammer in with an absolutely beautiful big boy. Yes, he is. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about this one. Kobe was a uh, own surrender. He's a five-year-old boxer, mm -hmm. and the guy did a really good job with him. He knows sit and shake and, and several things. Yeah, so. he did shake with me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's um, he's ready for a new home now. He's been neutered and vaccinated, up to date. Mm -hmm. um, he knows some basic commands, and he's gonna make somebody a great family pet. Yeah, and the colors on this dog are absolutely beautiful, and he's he's a very friendly dog. You know, he doesn't he just comes right up to you, and yeah. he's just uh, very friendly. Kobe. So, Can you oh, see? Sit. He's he says, like, no thanks, I'm he, comfy. I know, he's very comfy right there. And he does shake with both hands, and he's he's a really nice dog. Yeah, now do you know how old this one might be? Five years old. Five years old? Yeah. And uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, a little bit more about him, because you've had him for how long? Just a, just about a week now. About just, a week now, yeah, so... we got him neutered. Um, he wasn't neutered when he came in, and all mm -hmm. dogs that get adopted from our facility are spay or neutered. Yeah. And they're vaccinated, um, distemper the Bordetella and the rabies. Mm -hmm. So everything is done. The dogs are all ready to go when they leave our facility. And of course they leave with a dog license as well. Right. So. Right. Now if, you, if somebody is, is looking to get a, a dog such as this, what do they need to keep in mind? Well, it's a bigger dog. Mm -hmm. He's a little bit older, so you hopefully passed all the puppy chewing, and he was he's already housebroken. So depending on what their lifestyle is and if they're ready for a puppy that's going to, you know, chew and not be potty trained and leash trained, mm -hmm. um, if they have time for that, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, if not, maybe a little bit older dog would be beneficial for them. So yeah. if they have an active lifestyle, if they have calm, if they work a lot, I mean, there's there's a lot of things to take into consideration. Right. Now, this one doesn't seem to be very hyperactive. He just... No, he's not real hyper. He's... He's active in the, you know, when we have him in the facility, but yeah. he's been here in uh, these lights and everything, and he's just like, okay, I'm taking a break. All right, <laughs> so he does like to play and exercise, right? Yes, he does. Yeah, and then obviously if you're, you know, one of those active people that like to go for walks, he'd be a perfect companion for that. You know, there he's sitting right there, and a shake, too. How about the other one? Do we get the other one, Kobe? <laughs> yes. But right. uh, yeah, he's a beautiful Sit. dog. Now, also like keep other things to keep in mind, um, you know, just with the. I know we're we've already stepped out of winter, going into spring, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so everything's a muddy mess everywhere. Uh huh. So that's one thing to take into consideration. Make sure that you um, have a dry area for your dog to go, if it's possible, mm -hmm. <laughs> for your dog to go out and go to the bathroom in. Um, you know, if it's a dog that lives outside, make sure that you can move the the dog house to a, a dry area mm -hmm. um so keep an eye on that you know the the humane society gets a lot of reports about dogs in the out in the cold weather yep so the mud will be the same thing yeah um yeah. so make sure your dog has shelter make sure the tags are on it make sure that if it has a microchip your microchip's registered um you know and you know coming into spring there's going to be so many dogs that are running loose and most of that is because they um are not spare neutered. Right. So, you know, the males are out looking for females and, mm -hmm. and running. So the warmer it gets, the more dogs we have running loose. Do you know if this so. one was an inside dog or an outside this was dog? An inside dog. I was going to say, yeah. he seems like he would be an inside dog yep. because he, he comes right up to you and he wants to cuddle. He wants to be pet. You know, <laughs> yeah. he wants to sit next to you. He's yeah. he's a very friendly dog. And he, yeah. you know. And inside is where we want all dogs to live. Um, yeah. You know, you've got some breeds that are, are do very well outside. But for the most part, a dog is part of the family. They're very social animals and mm -hmm. they need to be inside with the family. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So um, we do still have some vouchers. If you don't have your dog spay or neutered, make yep. sure that you, um, if you need some assistance, get a hold of us and we'll try mm -hmm. to help you out with that. And mind everyone your location? Yeah, 1165 Seraph Road. It's just off of Elm Street and we're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. All right, well, Julie, thank you for coming and uh, hopefully we get this one at home. Yeah, it won't take long for him. I know. Thank well, you. don't go away because medical news is up next.